Emu. E mu. Emu. E mu. E mu. E mu. E mu. E mu. E mu. 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 Ah. E mu. What is good, y'all? Tristan here, and today I am back with a new video. We are talking about. 50 words that Americans and Australians just pronounce differently. As you can tell by the intro, the first word that Americans and Australians just pronounce differently is emu. So Americans pronounce it emu, Australians pronounce it emu. I recently did a video where I said emu and y'all just about lost it in the comment section. Everyone going after me for saying emu wrong or saying it the American way. It was actually that video, me saying emu, that kind of helped inspire this video. I had a bunch of you reach out to me saying that I should do a video about words that are pronounced differently. Uh, the first one to reach out to me was a subscriber named Craig, so shout out to you, Craig. But Craig, when he reached out to me, he sent me about, I don't know, five to 10 words that we pronounce differently, one of them being his very own name. He said, the way I say it, just have been saying it, Craig is wrong, or not how they say it in Australia. In Australia, they pronounce it Craig. They really emphasize that A, Craig. Whereas in America, we just kind of pronounce that name as like, like as if it had an E, like C-R-E-G, Craig. Anyways, those are the first two, but we got 48 more awesome words. So here we go, number three is Puma, or as they would say in Australia, Puma. Like the cat, or the apparel company, or there's a petrol station line, kind of like 7-Elevens here in Australia, called Pumas, or they, what they say, Puma, like a little gun, like pew, pew, pew. I don't know, that's what I think of when I think of it, but yeah, pew, pew, Puma. Number four is buoy, or as they say it in Australia, boy. Like the little thing that floats in the water, we pronounce that buoy. Here in Australia, they pronounce it boy, like boy and girl, kind of, yeah, same thing, boy. Before I say more of these words, I just need to make a quick, like, disclaimer and say that not all Americans say this, like, the American way, and not all Australians say these words the, like, Australian way. I actually, I ran this video, like, the, this list by a couple Australians, there was, like, four or five Australians, not all of them pronounced all the words the exact same, like, there are a couple words that, like, a couple of them said it the American way, there's actually, like, one or two words on this list that I say the Australian way, but in general, I think most Australians say it the Australian way, and most Americans will say it the American way for, in terms of this video. All right, there we go. That was the disclaimer. Number five is Nutella. This yummy stuff. Americans, like me, I would pronounce this Nutella like it's new Nutella. Here in Australia, they pronounce it Nutella, like a nut. Yeah, Nutella, nut Nutella. Number six is the popular card game Uno. In America, we pronounce it Uno. It's kind of like the emu one, Uno. Here, it is more pronounced like you know. Number seven is caramel, or as it said in Australia, caramel. Eight is tomato, or as it said in Australia, tomato. Number nine is a crazy one. It is this stuff that you like put over food and whatnot. We would call it in America, aluminum. Here in Australia, it is aluminum. 10 is the apparel company. In America, we would pronounce this as Adidas. However, here in Australia, it is Adidas. One thing I want to note real quick is a lot of these differences in pronunciations are like they come from England, and so a lot of these words that Australians say differently to Americans, you could almost make this whole list and say English people also say these words different. Not for all of them, but as a general rule of thumb, you could say it for most. Number 11 is this car company right here. So we would pronounce this in America as Nissan. However, here in Australia, it is pronounced Nissan. Number 12 is this, I don't know, breathing, respiratory condition, whatever you want to call it. In America, we call it asthma, and in Australia, it's pronounced asthma. We kind of say it more like a Z sound, like asthma, where here it's more like a, like an S sound, like asthma. 13 is this plant. We would call it oregano in the States. However, here in Australia, it is pronounced oregano. This plant right here, I would pronounce this, or Americans would pronounce this as basil. However, in Australia, it is pronounced basil. This nut right here, me and most Americans would pronounce this as pecan. However, in Australia, most people pronounce this as pecan. Now, number 16 is kind of an iffy one because I actually naturally say this one the Australian, the Australian way, but I've heard it both ways in America. So that is apricot or apricot. So apricot is like the American way, but I've always pronounced it apricot, which is how like everyone in Australia pronounces it. Number 17 is filet, or it's filet if you're American. Here in Australia, they pronounce it as fillet, so it is a fillet of, fi uh, fillet of fish, or a fillet of fish, fillet, fillet. Now the next two are just letters, but that is the letter Z, so I pronounce it Z, as I just said, but in Australia they pronounce it Z. The next letter is this letter, H is that I would say it, however, and like some people in Australia do say H, but a lot of them here pronounce it H, like H. 20 is leisure, so me and like every American pronounces it leisure, I've never heard it pronounced any other way, however, I came here to Australia and they pronounce it leisure. The next two are countries, so Iraq, we pronounce it Iraq, here they pronounce it Iraq, like we say I, they say I, Iraq, Iraq. Same thing for the next one, which is Iran, Iran, 
yeah, just a minor difference. 23 is fragile, or it's fragile if you're American. Here in Australia, how they say it is it's fragile, like they say aisle, we say ooh. 24 is missile, or as they would say it in Australia, missile. And 25 is military, or as they would say it in Australia, military. America, military. Australia, military. Now 26 is gonna be the most controversial of them all because not all Australians, I would actually say most Australians don't say this word this way, but I've heard of a couple say it and I'm telling you, it is so wrong. It sounds, of all the ones, this is the most triggering for me. I hate it when people pronounce this word this way and that is vitamins like did you take your vitamins this morning you know it's healthy to take your vitamins some people in australia i don't know why but they pronounce it vitamins no it can't be it's not vitamins that just sounds so wrong all these words that i've said not, not one way is right over the other they're just different ways of pronouncing words but this one i'm gonna stick by it and say vitamins is right vitamins it just it just sounds wrong 27 in america we say garage in australia some people still say garage but a lot of people here also say garage that one seems to be about like a 50 50 split here uh it's kind of like there's an american way to say it and the english way to say it and in australia they kind of i don't know i've like they kind of do both. 28 is this lovely striped animal right over here. I would pronounce this, Americans would pronounce this as zebra. However, in Australia, they pronounce it zebra. 29 is mobile, or as they would say it in Australia, mobile. 30 is a crazy one because when I first heard it, like, I thought it was a different word. I didn't realize that they were saying the same word, just pronouncing it different, but that's cordial or cordial. So yeah, in America, we pronounce it cordial, whereas here in Australia, it's pronounced Cordial. 31 is advertisement, and the difference is like which syllable you stress. So in American English, we would say advertisement, advertisement, and in Australian English, you say advertisement, advertisement. It's like there's more emphasis on the vert part. When we shorten that word, we refer to it as an ad, like, oh, do you see the, the Super Bowl ad? Whereas in Australia, when they like shorten that word down, they short it down to advert. So like, oh, do you see that advert? 32 is depot, so yeah. Americans, we pronounce it depot. In Australia, they pronounce it depot. 33 is this fragile little thing that you put flowers in, so we would pronounce it in American English as vase, whereas they're here in Australia they pronounce it vase. So the way we say it, it like it rhymes with like face, like your face, vase, face, whereas here it is vase as in like phase, like it doesn't phase me. Phase, vase. Face, vase, phase, vase. Yeah, I think I'm saying that right. That's gonna be, yeah, you get it. Vase, a, ah. Screw it, you got it, you got it already. Moving on. 34 is adult, or as they would say in Australia, adult. 35 is mom, which they say in Australia as mom. But that's also English influence, but this is kind of more than just a different pronunciation because we spell it M-O-M, and here in Australia they spell it M-U-M, so it's like, I don't know. I don't know if they, they pronounce it differently or if it's just a different word, but yeah. Mom, mom. 36 is premier or premiere. So in American English, we would say this word as premier, Australian, premier. I honestly, I kind of like the way Australians say it more. I think that sounds more right. So yeah, premier, premier. 37 is herb or, oh, God, herb. I just said it the Australian way. In American English, herb, you just don't pronounce the H at all. And in Australian English, it is herb. You do pronounce the H. 38 is scone. So this thing right here, we pronounce that in American English as scone. Whereas in Australian English, it is pronounced scone. 39 is this car brand right here. So in America, we pronounce this Hyundai, which everyone tells me is wrong. It probably is. So we pronounce this as Hyundai. Here, they pronounce it as Hyundai. Americans make it like two syllables, like Hyundai. Australians, three syllables, Hyundai. Now 40 and 41 are quite similar, but that is semi. So yeah, we say this word as semi, like with the I, we say I at the end. In Australian English, they would pronounce it semi. Semi. Simi, but yeah, I know some Americans who say it the, the Australian way, the Simi way. In similar fashion, we have anti and anti Americans, hard eye, long eye, whatever you want to say, anti Australians, anti. And similar to anti, we have aunt or aunt. So, and uh, like it goes, Americans say it both ways, but I've always said it aunt, like your aunt and uncle. Um, but there are some people in America who pronounce it aunt. Here in Australia, everyone pronounces it, or at least everyone I've met has pronounced it aunt, which honestly kind of makes sense because like. I don't know, your aunt isn't like an aunt, like she's an aunt. 43 is entrepreneur, so I, yeah, I've always pronounced this entrepreneur. In Australia, they pronounce this entrepreneur, so like entrepreneur, entrepreneur. 44 is niche or niche, so in America, again, Americans say this both ways. I've heard Americans say niche, I've heard Americans say niche, but it's pretty common to say niche. I myself have always said niche, but in Australia, no one says niche. It is niche here in Australia. 45 is this spice right here, so I would pronounce this as turmeric. However, in Australia, they would pronounce it as turmeric, like you have a tumor, turmeric, turmeric, 
you get it real quick guys I just want to say I hope you're enjoying this video and if you are please make sure you give it a big old like and maybe consider subscribing you know don't have to but I really do appreciate it and if you like these types of videos I got a whole lot more videos of like comparing like America and Australia and talking about the language differences so if you want to see those I will link them all in the description below back to the video 46 is bouquet so I say bouquet but like a, a soft O bouquet here in Australia they would pronounce it bouquet a bouquet of flowers bouquet of flowers bouquet bouquet 47 I don't know if it's necessarily a difference in pronunciation but it's, it's kind of like a word but also pronunciation so if you have an animal like a dog that is your pet and your pet likes it when you pet them or that's what we would say in American English you would say you pet your pet you pet your dog we use the word pet as a noun and a verb here in Australia they don't do that they would say you pat your dog you pat your cat I don't know if you really pat cats but you, you get it they would say you pat your pet we would say we pet our pet now these last three all kind of have to do with how Australians pronounce the R sound at the end of a word so they just don't really pronounce it so for example we would say car we're here in Australia it's just like car like they, they, don't, they hardly say the R and this goes for like a bunch of words like any word that ends in like an I R E R A R in Australia just kind of how the accent is they just say uh so like do doctor doctor butter butter better better the R is not really pronounced well these last two it's kind of a question for your students it's gonna be controversial but I want to ask these these two cities so y'all have Melbourne and y'all have Cairns. Australians love to get Americans a hard time for mispronouncing these cities. We call Melbourne, Melbourne, and we call Cairns, Cairns, because there's like an R there. Well, my question for you is, are we actually pr mispronouncing these cities or are we just saying them with an American accent? It's hard for me to say one way or the other, because like on one hand, I'm like, all right, like whoever lives in that city gets to name the cities and like say how it's pronounced. So yes, it's Melbourne and it's Cairns. But then at the same time, I'm like, if the actual name of the city, if, if it's real, if the actual name is actually Melbourne and the actual name is actually Cairns, it wouldn't matter because the Australian accent just leaves the R off if it's ever in the last syllable of a word. So you would pronounce Melbourne, Melbourne, and you would pronounce Cairns, Cairns. Let me know in the comment section what you think. If you'd like to know anything more about Aussie slang, feel free to go check out that video right over there. I appreciate it very much, guys. Peace out and have a great day.